Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rocio and today's video is going to be all about Edna Cortes and Francisco Pizarro who were two Spanish conquistadors and they are responsible for the fall of the Aztec and Inca Empire. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you liked it, please share it with your friends. I appreciate it when you do that. And I think that's it, so let's get started. We are going to begin the story of Hernán Cortés in 1518, but first, here are some details about his early life. So Diego Velázquez appointed Hernán Cortés to lead an expedition to Mexico. Shortly before leaving, however, Cortés learned that Velázquez had cancelled the mission, but he decided to ignore the orders and left anyways in 1519. When the Spanish arrived on the mainland, they encountered different Native American city-states, all of whom were under Aztec rule. Cortes used this to his advantage and formed alliances with several of those Native American groups. He also founded the city of Veracruz on the Mexican coast before continuing on to Tenochtitlan, and he was able to do all of this with the help of Jerónimo de Aguilar and La Malinche, who served as Cortes's translators. Cortes and his men arrived in Tenochtitlan in November of 1519. As they entered the city, they were welcomed by Montezuma, the Aztec emperor, who showered the Spanish with gifts and allowed them to stay in the city. Shortly after arriving in Tenochtitlan, Cortes arrested Montezuma, and for several months he governed the city through the Aztec emperor. In April of 1520, Cortes had to leave Tenochtitlan because he learned that Governor Velázquez had sent forces to arrest him. So Cortes and his men marched towards the coast, where Panfilo de Narvaez and his forces were at, and during a surprise attack, Cortes was able to defeat Narvaez. When Cortes returned to Tenochtitlan in June, he found the city on the brink of revolt. Pedro de Alvarado, the man left in charge while Cortes was away, ordered a massacre of Aztec noblemen during a festival honoring Huitzilopochtli. Cortes tried to pacify the situation by making Montezuma speak to the people, but the emperor was not effective, and by June 30th, the situation had worsened, so the Spanish had to flee Tenochtitlan. As they fought their way out of the city, many Spanish soldiers drowned in Lake Texcoco, but Cortes was able to escape to Tlaxcala. So while in Tlaxcala, Cortes was able to regroup and rebuild his forces, and in May of 1521, Cortes and his allies returned to Tenochtitlan to reclaim the city. The siege took about three months, and by August of 1521, Tenochtitlan had fallen, and this marked the end of the Aztec Empire. So Francisco Pizarro was another Spanish conquistador, and here are some details about his early life. So after hearing legends about a wealthy civilization in Peru, Pizarro set out to search for this empire. His first two expeditions were a bust, and when he couldn't get backing for a third expedition, Pizarro returned to Spain, where he appealed to King Charles V and was granted permission for his third expedition. Pizarro was accompanied by his brothers and forces of less than 200 men. In 1532, they arrived in the city of Tumbles, which had been destroyed due to a civil war. From there, they headed inland to the city of Cajamarca, and it just so happened that Atahualpa was also there. So Pizarro invited Atahualpa to a feast, and on November 16, 1532, the emperor and his men met the Spanish in the town square. When the order was given, the Spanish attacked, killing the soldiers and the Native Americans who had gathered in the square. Atahualpa was taken prisoner, but the emperor offered a room filled with gold in exchange for his freedom. The Spanish agreed to the ransom, but later Atahualpa was put on trial for treason and was executed on July 26, 1533. From there, the Spanish installed a puppet emperor and began making their way to the capital. They arrived in Cusco in 1533, and this marked the end of the Inca Empire. <laughs> 